What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, King Tino, man. I'm back with another freak video. Yes, sir. As you can see by that title and that thumbnail, yes, this is a breakfast mukbang. Let me tell y'all what I got here on my plate today. You dig what I'm saying? You know, I see y'all. I noticed that y'all like the uh, that last mukbang I did with the uh, catfish. Yeah, I might pop that up right here or something. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, I like that video or whatnot. So I decided to come back with another mukbang. Talk to y'all a little bit about some stuff. But first of all, before we get into it, let me just tell y'all what I got on my plate. Got some scrambled eggs here with some cheese in it. Got some little sausages here. You know what I'm saying? Got two little waffles here. You know, that's all I need. You got to have a side of OJ. You dig what I'm saying? That orange juice. Yeah. <sighs> yes, sir. But, um, yeah, so today, man, first, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and turn on all post notification bells on, and, uh, come on, join the family, and, uh, come on, get with King, uh, with King Tino, you feel me, and, uh, join the gang, you dig what I'm saying? But today, man, let's jump right into it, man, as y'all can see, man, that title is, um, let's talk about fake friends. Let's get into it. Fake friends, man. I tell you what. You will know when you got a fake friend. You will absolutely know when you got a fake friend. You will know the way they move, the way they talk, the way they act, the way they talk to you. It's all kind of signs to know that you have fake friends. Simple. I don't really, I don't really too much care about friends personally. Me, because you know why? Like I got to say, they stab you in the back quicker than anybody. Stab you. Or they'll stop talking to you. You know, that's why I don't trust people, man. That's why I don't trust dudes. That's why I don't put myself around friends. So called friends. That's why I don't, I don't do that stuff, man. That's why I just stay to myself, do my own thing, stay silent, do my content. That's it. And move forward. Because friends can get you in a lot of trouble, too, as well. Yeah, I really can. And I get it. Some people out there, they need friends. They feel like they gotta have somebody on their side. They gotta. They feel like they need somebody to talk to. They gotta have somebody to talk to all the time. And that friend can be treating them bad, and they still talk to them. That's why I got it all wrong. Let me tell you a little backstory about me. See the way I was raised. My mama taught me a lot about friends and people who I hang around. That so-called your friend could get you in a lot of trouble. And it's true. And I took a lot of them, you know. At first I was about, I ain't gonna tell them who I wanna hang out with. Hang out with, but at the end of the day, when you get older, you kind of realize that you, you start thinking like, dang, my mama's right. I know why she was talking about you can be with the wrong person at the wrong time or who you can trust and who you don't need to trust. You really don't know who you can trust. It could be somebody right in your face talking to you. You think you trust them and boom, the whole time they plotting on you. That's the crazy thing, man. Friends that are, you ride with them, they, they might have drugs on them and next you know they put something on you. Throw it on your side of the seat. And as you know, you're going down for something that you have no idea that your friend had anything on them. And guess what? They fake friends. So they ain't going to take the charge. They're going to play dumb. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. So now you're going down with them. And all they got to do is tell the truth to that. That that was their drugs or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is that they threw on your side of the car. I mean, it's just crazy to me, man. Fake friends, man. Fake friends. And then, you have the friends where they see you doing good in life, and then they want to knock it, though. You can be doing good in life, and then they coming at you like, oh, no. Nah. You know, it's always something negative. They never give you nothing positive. They always trying to put their little two cents in it to make you feel down about the situation. You can have a whole brilliant idea you come to it, present it to them, and they might be like, well, no, nah, I don't think you want to do that. Why you want to do that? 
why you want to do that and you shouldn't do that because mm -mm, what if it goes this way fake friends they don't want to see you they don't want to see you up simple fake friends fake friends i don't i don't associate myself with fake friends man that's why i don't really call people friends that's why they call that's why i call them associates because are you really my friend I don't know. You might fold on me. You might you might give up on me. When I'm at my lowest. You don't want to come talk to me. When I'm at my lowest. Pay friends. Then if you do talk to me, you might when I'm at my lowest, you probably ain't making it better because you still put more fuse to the fire. I tell you, man. And sometimes they just ghost on you. Like I said, they ghost. You can be talked to one. And when you get your lowest, they ghost on you. You never hear from them again. Where they go? Where they went? You have no idea where they went. What? 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 I thought it was my. What happened to my friend? I need my friend. Where they at? They forgot all about you. They just stop. They stop communicating with you. They stop talking to you. They stop reaching out to you. All these things. Then you try to reach out to them. Try to figure out what happened. Why you? What's going on with you? Trying to talk to them. They they stay and talk to you. Fake friends. But at the end of the day, you gotta keep checking, keep moving, keep going. Don't get discouraged because they gave up on you. You keep moving. Can't nobody save you but yourself. You're the only one that can save yourself. Your friend can't save you. They can't save you. Fake friends, man. Like, why do people do that? I understand. You can grow apart. You can grow apart from each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like not on the same page anymore. Or whatever the case may be. Y'all just kind of grew up from each other. I understand that happens, but don't just flake on me. Don't just play. Again, this is why I don't have friends. Because I choose not to put myself around and put myself in them situations. I have associates. Yeah, I do. I have associates. I have brothers. If you're watching this, I want to know. If you made it this far, comment down below. Uh, experience that you had with a fake friend I want to know because there's a lot of snakes and fake friends out there and guess what as soon as you make it big they come knocking at your door and trying to rekindle that friendship after they left you in the darkest times in the messed up times in the fucked up times then they want to come back once you see you doing good with your life and blowing up they pop back up Ooh. Excuse me, y'all. They pop back up in your life like, like nothing to just happen. Oh, my bad. You know, I was going through a lot around that time and, and this and that, this and that, the third. Bruh. I was too. <laughs> life goes on. You know what? I'm going to go crazy. This is my year. I don't need no friends. Hell. I don't need nobody. I can do this all by my damn self. And I don't need nobody putting their inputs. And I don't need nobody putting their two cents in on what I do. Simple. I built this foundation right here. I built this. This channel. This channel, my family, I did this. I do everything. I'm behind the scenes. I do the editing. I do the thumbnails. Yes, I'm keep preaching that because I am very proud of my work. And someday, it's going to take that one person to acknowledge my work. You feel me? That one person to acknowledge the work I do and I put into my videos. So I'll take that one person to get a hold of my content. That's all it takes. 
And when that day happened, whew, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I just can't wait. You know what? I can't wait because I'm waiting patiently. They don't believe in me. They don't believe in the stuff I do. They don't believe in my content. They don't believe in anything. They don't believe in. They don't. They don't want to see me rise. They don't want to see me go to the top. <laughs> watch me. You sit back and you watch. Watch me elevate. And by the way, I just want to say. Shout out to everybody that is supporting this channel right now. This channel went from zero to over 100 subscribers. I just want, I just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. Every last bit of them 100 subscribers, supporters. I just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I promise you. If it wasn't for y'all, I won't keep moving. Y'all the reason why I keep pushing. When I see positive comments, when I see my subscribers coming up, all that good stuff, that's what pushed me. That's what that's what get me to go. That's what make me do content and be consistent. When I see my subscribers go up, I just know that someone out there that appreciate my content and enjoy my content. So I do it for y'all. I do it for myself and I do it for y'all at the same time. Cause I could be out there making somebody a day. All the people that just sit there and watch and think negative, I'm going to pray for you. I'll let God handle you. And by the way, <laughs> I got some good news too. Everybody, if you're in the Oklahoma City area, I'm about to start a YouTube production coming this summer count on, count my word YouTube production is coming from me so everybody that's in Oklahoma City that's been looking to they want to start a YouTube channel holler at me I will be I will help you. I'll help you out I'll guide you get you started on the YouTube channel I'll edit for you if you want but if you're serious we can talk business. Only if you're serious. We gotta, Oklahoma. We gotta, we gotta be better. We gotta start. We gotta get stronger. We gotta, we gotta start a connection somewhere. We gotta network somewhere. I'm gonna start that. Me, the biggest, the biggest gonna be in Oklahoma City is me. Yeah, I said it. I'm gonna be bigger than NAB Corporation. <laughs> Count on it. If you know, if you know, you know. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. More to the story. Let's be careful who is in your circle. Be careful who is in your circle. Okay. Pick your friends wisely. Choose your friends wisely. Make sure they're moving the way you move. Make sure they motivate you, not downgrade you. Make sure they're speaking life into you. Make sure they preaching the gospel to you. Make sure they putting the word in your system, in your head. Y'all, stay positive out there. God bless y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Friends, we stab you in the back. So please, make sure, if you got a friend right now in your life, that they're not feeding you, feeding you no good energy. Cut them loose and focus on your goal and your dreams and your achievement. I'm talking to you because clearly if you made it this far, I'm definitely talking to you. Cut that friend off that is doing you no good. If it's toxic and you got better futures, better plans, and they ain't with it, if they can't hop on a bandwagon, leave them behind. Let them go. Let them go. They're just going to drag you down. It's not going to be no good. It's not going to end well for you. 
let them go and shoot for the stars and get your goal going and lock in and get it complete. Leave them stupid people behind. Leave them stupid people in the back. Anyway, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and turn on all post notification bells on. It's your boy, King Tino, and I'm signing out. And I will see y'all in the next freaking vlog or video. You name it. I'm out. Make sure y'all hit them subscribe buttons. I promise you. Love. Peace. Choose your friends wisely.